Hello everyone, this is me Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. Sa video na to, ipapakita ko kung paano gawin ang honeycomb stitch. Ito ay napakagandang stitch and I'm sure na magugustuhan niyo at magbibigay na panibagong ideas for other projects. So make sure to subscribe to my channel para sa marami pang patterns na makikita niyo. So, to start this project, you may use any yarn of your choice. I'm going to use 3.75mm crochet hook. Ang gamit ko is yung medium weight yarn. And then, to start, make a slip knot. And after that, we're going to chain up in even numbers or in multiples of 2. I chained about 30, but you can do more if you want. And for row 1, we're gonna start with the uh, second chain from the hook. So work that in a one single crochet. Napaka simple lang for the first two rows, it will be one single crochet into every stitch. Ito na, at tapos na ang ating first row, lalagyan ko na lang ng one last single crochet to finish this row. Now, we're going to do back and forth and we're gonna chain one. So, balik na natin or turn. And then, into the same stitch as where we chained one, we're gonna work one single crochet. So, into each stitch, all throughout the row, we're gonna work one single crochet. Alright, so now our row 2 is done. Ngayon, from rows 3 to 6, we're going to do a repeat pattern. Ito yung uulit ulit natin hanggang ma-reach natin yung desired height. After chaining 1, 1 single crochet into the same stitch. Ito yung pinaka-likod ng ating project. 2 rows down, doon natin ilalagay ang second single crochet natin which is called long single crochet kasi mas mahabang single crochet yung ilalagay natin sa pangalawang stitch at ilalagay natin siya doon sa first row na ginawa natin. And then into the next stitch, we will do a regular single crochet. Into every second stitch of this row, we're gonna put it into the very first single crochet of the first row. So we will just repeat this pattern until we get to the end of the stitch or at the end of the row. So now that we have reached the last stitch, we're going to work one single crochet into the last stitch in there. And every time we get to the next row, we're gonna chain one and we turn. That's going to be row four. And into the same stitch, we're gonna work one single crochet, one single crochet into the next stitch, and then 
into the uh, third one we're gonna include those two strands of the two V stitches so we're going to work into those two loops a single crochet and that's what we're gonna do into the next stitch we will work one single crochet and then in between those V stitch we're going to insert our hook getting those two loops and then work a single crochet into those two loops so that's what we're going to repeat all across the row
right now I'm into my last stitch and into the last stitch I'm going to work a long single crochet. Now I'm going to chain one and then turn. So for row six, we're going to work one single crochet into the same stitch and then we're going to work a single crochet into those two loops of two V stitches and then one single crochet into the middle of the V stitch and then we will keep repeating the same pattern until we get to the end of this row. I also made another swatch with this color. This time I have used a bigger hook. This one is done in 5mm crochet hook. You can make this one as a bag, table runner, scarf, binny if you're going to work in rounds so you can turn this one into a bottle holder in my next video I plan to show you how to work this in rounds and we're gonna make another project with this kind of stitch